Namaste, welcome to Gita's Kitchen. Come, let's make a simple and easy South Indian thali, tasty too, with no onion, no garlic. Here I have cooked some rice and kept ready. Now we will start the process for chitrana. For this, I have here uh, black sesame seeds or thil, black pepper and fenugreek that is methi seeds. We will dry roast all these ingredients. When cool, we will grind it into a coarse powder in our blender jar. Now, take the thick tamarind extract in a pan. I am adding sambar powder, homemade sambar powder, salt and jaggery. Now we will allow all this to come to a boil and let it thicken. Now take out the required quantity of rice and spread it out on a plate. Just allow it to cool so that the grains also remain fluffy. Add some oil to it and keep this aside. See, this has become nice and thick. This tamarind juice and sambar powder mixture it has become nice and thick. We have also ground these other ingredients. I have taken it out here. We will add this ground till black pepper and uh, sesame seeds. Mix everything together. Add some curry leaves. And we can switch it off. See, our rice is also ready now. So, take out the required quantity of this tamarind mix. Add a little bit at a time. And mix it well with a light hand. Just need a little bit more. If you have any of this uh, tamarind goju remaining, you can just uh, store it, keep it aside and have it along with curd rice. Now heat some oil in a small pan. Add mustard seeds. Urad dal. Chana dal. This is some hing. and groundnuts. Now pour this on top of this rice. And again mix everything well together. Our tasty chitrana is done and ready. Now the remaining rice allow it to cool and mash it well like this this is for the curd rice i took two cups of rice and cooked it one cup i have taken for the chitrana and the remaining one cup for the curd rice add some salt to it this is some fresh grated ginger and a few curry leaves i have some um, fresh curd which i have beaten and kept we will add that also Now mix everything well together. Now we only have to do the tempering. Heat some oil. Add uh, mustard seeds. And two green chilies I have chopped. And pour this over the curd rice. 
the consistency keep it a little bit flowing because it might thicken on cooling so just keep it like this this is perfect consistency so our tasty home style curd rice also ready next we will make avian i have taken white pumpkin yellow pumpkin beans carrot and some yam peel them slice them now we will boil it till the vegetables are done so while the vegetables are cooking we can grind the coconut paste here i have 1 cup of fresh grated coconut we can add about 2 uh, green chillies to this and we'll grind it into a paste to get the right texture i have just crushed the coconut and green chillies without adding any water see like this see our vegetables are well done remember we have not yet added salt to it so we can just add the required quantity of salt this crushed coconut and green chillies also we will add to it mix it well and let it again cook together for another 5 minutes or so see it has again cooked along with the coconut masala finally I am adding a few curry leaves to it we will switch it off and now I have some thick beaten curd I am going to add to this again mix everything well together Avian should remain a little thick. It should not become too flowing in consistency. So keep it thick. Finally, add some raw coconut oil about 2 teaspoons on top. See our avian is now done and ready. Um, depending on the style of avial, the Kerala style, no tadka is added. In the Tamil Nadu style, we add tadka of mustard seeds. So you can uh, do as per your choice. Next, we will make arm vade. For that, I have 2 cups of chana dal. I have soaked it for nearly uh, 2 hours now. Now, we will drain the water completely and we will grind it into a coarse paste. I have also soaked uh, 1 fourth cup of yellow moong dal. This also will drain out now. We will keep this separately. We will add it to the ground batter. So first grind the chana dal. Then we will add the moong dal to it. See our dal is coarsely ground and ready. I have not added any water while grinding. If there are one or two pieces of the dal remaining. Don't worry it will add to the crunchiness of the dal. Then now add this soaked and uh, drained moong dal. Curry leaves. Finely chopped green chillies and fresh coriander leaves add one or two teaspoons of fresh grated coconut and salt to taste we have kept some oil for deep frying now we will mix all these ingredients well together for our arm buddies. take out small portions of the vada batter and just flatten it out on your palm and gently drop it into the hot oil allow it to fry well then after some time flip it over and cook it on both sides it comes to a nice golden red color See, when the vadais are done to a lovely golden color drain it out carefully from the oil like this and make with the remaining vada batter also our crispy amavades are all perfectly fried and ready. Finally, we will make the sweet dish that is payasam. We are going to make a payasam using coconut and rice and along with jaggery. 
So I have soaked about uh, two tablespoons of rice. Today I have used brown rice. You can use whichever rice you have at home. No problem. Add a cup of fresh grated coconut to this, and two or three cardamoms. Now we will grind all these together into a paste. To make the paisam, I am taking half a cup of jaggery. We will just add a little bit of water and melt it. See the jaggery is melted now. Now we will add in this ground rice and coconut paste to it. Keep the flame low always. I am adding a little bit water to this. Stir it well and cook it for about 10 minutes. See, it has thickened nicely. The rice and coconut are also well cooked. Now, this is previously boiled and cooled milk. Now, I am adding that. After 2 to 3 minutes, we can switch it off. Uh, today, I am adding some sweetened condensed milk to it. I am adding about 1 heap tablespoon and mix it well. If you don't have condensed milk with you, don't worry. When you add the jaggery, add another quarter cup of jaggery. Here I first added half cup. You add 3 fourth cup, then the sweetness will be fine. Finally, just heat a spoon of ghee in a pan and fry some cashew nuts and raisins for the paisa. When the cashews and raisins have roasted well, just add it to the paisa. A tasty harisi tengai paisa is also ready. Our no onion, no garlic special South Indian lunch thali is ready. We have chitrana, curd rice, amavade, avian and harisi tengai paisa. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to Geeta's Kitchen and we will meet again with another interesting episode from Geeta's Kitchen. Thank you.